Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an eye tutorial over the look that I am wearing today. And this is the same look that I wore in my recent Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth review. And I had a lot of people ask me for a tutorial and I posted this look on my Instagram and a bunch of people asked for a tutorial on it. So here you go. I kind of feel a little dumb for posting this because this is such an easy look that it's like... It's not something like super creative or out of the ordinary or it's just, it's so simple. I just think it's so good for every day and I think it's beautiful for summer. It's going to look good on every skin tone and every eye color. And it's just something that you don't have to think about. You don't have to put a lot of effort into. If you need something that's just a quick, easy, no fail look, then this is that. Not to mention all the shadows I'm using today are ColourPop because I rave about ColourPop all the time. Like I am completely freaking obsessed with ColourPop and if I didn't put up tutorials for you guys using the shadows that I talk about then what good would it do you guys? I'm just talking about a bunch of products and I'm not helping you put some looks together. So that's what I'm doing and you guys are going to see a ton of more looks with ColourPop shadows. This is just this is just something I threw together on that day when I filmed that video and it turned out really pretty. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to call this look yet but it's just a really pretty goldeny coppery summery look and it's just going to be perfect for every day so if you guys want to see how to get this eye look that I'm wearing then please keep watching. Okay guys so as usual I already have my eye primer on and my eyebrows are already flicking. So all those products are going to be listed below along with everything else in this video that I am using. So the first thing I'm going to do is something that you don't necessarily have to do, but this is what I did when I first did this look, so that's what I'm going to do now. But I'm going to take a bronzer and just kind of go in to the crease of my eye and just kind of warm things up a little bit, even though I'm going to be using an eyeshadow that does that. But this is what I did, so that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to take this ColourPop bronzer in Skinny Dip, which is a cool tone bronzer, and just kind of add a little dimension into the crease of the eye. And I probably should have done one eye already, but I didn't. Whoops. So I'm just going to add that in the crease from the inner corner to the outer corner. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my highlight for my brow bone, which I usually don't do, but I'm going to go ahead and do it today. Because so I'm going to go in with the ColourPop shade Truth. And just, just know that all these eyeshadows are ColourPop, so I don't have to keep saying it. But I will leave all my ColourPop videos linked below. I don't really know if I like this color for the brow bone because it's not super dramatic but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway so now I'm gonna go back in and start working on the crease I'm gonna go in with to a T and this is like a matte camely tan brown so I'm applying this from the inner to the outer corner in the crease and I'm not going up too high with this because I want that bronzer to be the really light transition shade going up to the brow bone but I am applying this in a socket and just blending it upward just a little bit and then I'm gonna apply it in the outer V one thing you have to keep in mind when you're working with ColourPop shadows is that they dry really fast and once they set it's kind of harder to blend them out so make sure that you blend them out the way you want to when you first lay them down because if you let them dry and they set then it's going to be harder to go back in and fix any mistakes or anything. So that was the mail lady and I just got my ColourPop packaging. <laughs> I may even do a haul right after this. Just another quick tip with ColourPop. Um, every time I get done using them, I do put the lids back on. Just I just sit them on top. I don't screw them on or anything. Because if you let them sit out for too long, they do dry out. And I just, I don't want to lose these. So I try to take as good a pair of them as I possibly can. So just a little quick tip. If you're a psychopath like me and you were just really OCD, may help you out just a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with a darker shade and just kind of deepen the crease and the outer corner just a little bit more. And I'm going to go in with Bandit, which is another matte shade. I think it's matte. Yeah, it's another matte shade. And this is more of a warm chocolatey brown. It's really, really pretty. I'm just going to take that on this little mini Coastal Sense fluffy brush. I think this is a pro blending fluff brush actually, but it's in like a travel size form. So I'm just going to apply this in the lower crease pretty much in the socket and just kind of blend it inward but i'm not going to go all the way into the inner corner because i want to keep that a little more bright but i am stopping about halfway about in the center and really focusing that in the crease and in the outer corner in the outer v 
And then I'm going to go back in with the brush that I used for two a T and just kind of blend in the crease just a little bit. This isn't really going to do a whole lot because, like I said, these set really fast, so they're kind of hard to move once they do set. But it's just going to kind of help soften it out a little bit. So now I'm pretty much going to throw away all the brushes and just start working with my fingers because I am going to use some metallic -y and shimmery shades. And I do find that ColourPop shadows work better with your fingers. Now I'm going to go in with Game Face. And this is an ultra metallic finish. And it's like an orange toned. It almost looks like a coppery penny. So I'm just going to take that on my finger and just get a little bit on it because as you can see it's so pigmented i literally just swirled it a couple times I'm just going to keep this shade in the outer v because this isn't the main shade that we're working with i think the gold really stands out in this the most i'm just going to start packing it right in the outer v and i'm being really really careful with this as you can see the color payoff is amazing and you will get it under your eye a little bit but just keep it below the crease you don't want this to be in the crease or in the socket and i'm just kind of softening the edge going towards the center with my finger just a little bit just kind of like swatting at it i guess so now i'm gonna go in with this beautiful gold and this is get lucky and this is literally the most perfect gold ever it's not too yellow and it's not too brassy or anything it's just the perfect gold for every skin tone but i'm just going to pack this from the inner corner to the center where it meets up with game face and you will see the magic now i'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush that we use with to a t and just blend the edges a little bit more i'm gonna go back in with the one that i used with bandit in just a second too now i'm gonna go in with an inner corner highlight and then we are pretty much done with this look so i'm gonna go in with plunge and this is a gorgeous silvery champagne it's so brightening for the inner corner it just makes your eyes look so wide and this is also extremely beautiful for highlight on the face as well <sighs> so i'm just going to take that on my pinky and just pat that in the inner corner now i'm going to curl my lashes and we're going to go ahead and get started with the eyeliner and mascara so for eyeliner, I'm just going to use a black gel liner, and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Lacquer Liner. I'm pretty much going to do the same thing I normally do, where I get it thinner in the inner corner, and then gradually get thicker when I come to the outer corner. But I am going to make a very, very thin line, so close to the lashes that you can barely see eyeliner at all. But I am going to do a wing at the end after I do my mascara, but we're just going to go ahead and draw the basic line right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and apply my mascara because it's really just wasting time when I show you guys on camera. I'm going to be mixing the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara with the L'Oreal Miss Mango Rock. I just applied two coats of the Maybelline and then one coat of this over top. Okay guys, so I'm back with mascara and as always, I always come back with more than I said I was going to go away for because I went ahead and finished up this eye and I also did my wing eyeliner and I gotta say they're not exactly fleeking right now. But they're close and that's all that matters. So now we're going to go ahead and start on the lower lash line and we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing we did with the top and pretty much in the same order. So I'm going to start out with going back in with 2 a T in that same fluffy brush and just smudge this really, really close to the lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with Bandit and a little tiny pencil brush and I'm pretty much just going to line the lower lashes first and then we're going to blend it out a little bit. And I'm not going all the way in with this, like I'm not going in the inner corner, but I am stopping really, really close right about there. And I'm just going to go back in with that fluffy brush that I used for it on the top lid and just smudge it out just a little bit. I do have a little bit of product on here, but we're pretty much just smudging out what we applied with the pencil brush. And then going back in with Get Lucky, which is that really, really pretty gold. I'm just going to take that on my pinky finger and, and get just a little bit on it and then apply that from the inner corner to about where we stop with Bandit. And if you want to, you can go back in with the inner corner highlight and just kind of intensify it just a little bit more just to make sure the inner corner highlight is flaking. For some reason, I've been obsessed with flaking lately. I don't really know why, but I feel very Kardashian-esque. And then just apply mascara to the lower lashes and you are done with the eyes. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe. Follow me on all of my social media. All the links are below as well as all the products that I use today. But I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Mwah.